Summer's <laughs> over. It's time to put your money back to work. Uh, maybe not just yet. September typically is the worst month for investors. So what should we expect this September? Let's turn to our markets roundtable. We got two guys here: Scott Wren, senior equity strategist with AG Edwards, and Bill Sparopoulos, market strategist with Core State's Capital. Bill, let me start with you, since uh, you know we were talking with Mike Santoli of Barrons. You know, boy, these guys out on a big limb in Barrons. Some people think the market will be up one percent. Some think down a percent. You're a you're a, a, an unabashed bear. Tell us why. Well, I think there's a lot of reasons to uh, fear the uh, fall of uh, 06. It's um, six years to the day the S&P peaked at um, levels that we haven't uh, surpassed uh, since 15% down. Um, I'm worried about um, the uh, U.S. dollar. Uh, the passing of the buck is a, a big fear of mine. I'm worried about the energy complex. I'm worried about uh, inflation. I think that the um, inflation rate is way understated um, by Bureau of Labor Statistics. And I think that uh, going forward, you also have the uh, potential for a, uh, a severe slowdown in housing, and that will have a, uh, a fairly serious impact on the uh, U.S. economy. All right, so we're at 11.5, call it. Where, uh, the, the worst case scenario, where could you see the Dow uh, in the next two or three years? Well, in the next two or three years, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, 9,800 challenged in the next uh, three or four months. And after that, it will be dependent on the, um, uh, what happens with the dollar and what happens with the um, inflation rate. Scott Wren, what, what is your viewpoint? Uh, we're a lot more optimistic than that, Joe. Uh, we're looking for 1,400 in the S&P by the end of the year. That's been our, our, our uh, target for uh, 06 for a uh, long, long time. And so really, for our, from our perspective, and you know, the e energy is a huge wild card. Uh, you know, anything can happen in the Middle East. No one should be surprised that Iran didn't uh, abide by any UN resolutions. That's going to continue. But I think for, for, for us, you're going to have uh, good economic growth, modest, sustainable economic growth, modest, sustainable earnings growth, and you're going to see inflation start to roll over. And we've already seen that in some of these numbers lately. So, you know, valuations are cheap. Uh, corporations have a ton of cash on the books. We've got a good labor market. Uh, not a great labor market, but a good one. Consumers are going to be out there spending money. So we're, we're a lot more optimistic than that, Joe. Yeah, both can't be right, Bill. What, what about that? Can you uh, challenge some of those assertions? Well, you know, we're not going to know until it's uh, well behind us. And the, um, the, the, just like um, the uh, previous peak, uh, everything seemed okay, and we woke up one morning 52% uh, lower. Now, I think that the um, uh, interest rates continue higher because of the inflation pressure. Um, housing has me greatly concerned at these uh, levels. Um, you saw it happen with toll. Um, if that gets more serious, and that is going to have an impact, and it could be rather sudden. And the other thing to watch is the dollar. If the dollar becomes uh, unsettled here and, and breaks down, um, then you know that rates could be uh, pressured higher by the um, by the Fed. You, you think this is not just a pause, Scott Wren? You think they're finished, and, and maybe we'll see easing in 07? Well, you know, Joe, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be, it's going to be funny and interesting come the end of the year and into early 07 because I think, I think right now what the Fed, what, what's going to happen is the Fed is going to say we've got above trend economic growth, we've got above trend earnings growth here, here for the balance of 06, and, and we have inflation starting to roll over. So the Fed, the Fed's going to be torn here, and there's going to be a lot of debate, and it wouldn't surprise me if we see more than you know lacquer dissenting on some of these things. But uh, for us, you know, the Fed's gone far enough. Uh, inflationary pressures have been held at bay, uh, but I guarantee you here this, this economy, the, the strength of this economy in the second half of the year uh, is, is going to worry the Fed. You guarantee me that the strength in the second half of the year that it's going to worry. All right. I think so. All I think so. right. I like it. Thank you, uh, Scott Rendell right. Have a good uh, week, guys. Okay. Thank you. I